Imagine that we're thinking about purchasing a restaurant, but we're not quite sure if we should do it. We know what our expected cash flows are, so we know that today, year zero, that we expect to have to pay a $300,000 cash outflow to buy this restaurant. And then we expect that exactly one year from today, it will generate a positive cash inflow of $50,000. And then exactly two years from today, it'll generate a positive cash inflow of $60,000. And then the life of the project is six total years and will generate the following cash flows. In order to find the payback period, we need to find the undiscounted balance at each point along this process. So at time zero, so today, it'll just be equal to the $300,000. But then one year from today, it'll be equal to the $50,000 cash inflow that we receive, plus the negative undiscounted, undiscounted balance from the previous year. And then we can just paste this formula by hitting Control C on the keyboard, and then right clicking and hitting Paste Formulas. And now we can see that the undiscounted balance finally goes positive in year five. So this is all we need to calculate the payback period. So the payback period is gonna be equal to the full years until recovery, which is 40 years, plus the unrecovered cost at the start of the recovery year, which is the $60,000 here. And I'm gonna hit a negative value to make that positive. And then it's being divided by the cash flow in the recovery year. The recovery year is year five and that'll be $70,000. So that tells us that our payback period is 4.86. But what we really need to know if to decide whether we wanna accept this project or not is whether the discounted payback period is less than the total lifespan of the project, so six. So in order to do that, we need to calculate the present value of each cash flow. And we need an interest rate to discount these present values of the cash flows by, and the interest rate will be based on the risk of the project. And so a higher interest rate means more inherent risk. Let's just say 5% as an example here. So to find the present value of each cash flow, we'll just take the cash flow for that year and then divide it by one plus the interest rate. And I'm gonna hit F4 on my keyboard to lock that cell in. And then we're going to compound it by the number of years. So as you go further into the future, it's discounted back by more periods. So here we're saying that we're discounting $50,000 back to $47,619 in uh, the value of today, the present value. And then we'll just highlight this whole row and then paste with formulas. And so now we have the present value of each of these cash flows. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did with the undiscounted balance, but this will be the discounted balance using the present value of the cash flows. So at time zero, it's just equal to the $300,000, same as before. But now we're using the present value of the cash flows and we're adding them to the previous year's discounted balance. And then we can just control C, copy that, and then paste it all the way down with the formulas. And so one thing you'll notice is that while it only took us until year five to pay off with the undiscounted balance, it takes us all the way until year six to pay off with the discounted balance. And that's because the present values of the cash flows are always gonna be less than the cash flows. So now let's calculate the uh, discounted payback period, which is equal to the full years until the present value is recovered. So now that is actually going to be five plus the um, the unrecovered present value at the start of the recovery year, which is equal to this value, and then we'll divide by the present value of the cash flow in the recovery year, and the recovery year is year six. So now we'll find that the discounted payback period is actually equal to 5.64. And because 5.64 is less than six years, we're gonna say that this project is worth accepting to us. Now, if you would like to try playing around with the numbers yourselves, feel free to download this file using the link in the description. And I hope to see you on the next video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed the video because it helps with the algorithm. So um, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.